Isn't this cute? All right, guys. Let me show you everything you're going to be needing to make this adorable birthday tea. this lol birthday t-shirt you saw that I printed out this beauty I printed out normally I will do this part in black but being that she wanted a black shirt then I'll do it in the um, in the yellow and then I printed out the name 
and her age and five so you'll need the t-shirt the iron-on paper and final this is the iron-on paper that I've been using for years um, this one is for dark garments so I use it maybe for I've been using it for maybe about four years and this one is for light garments but I usually just use the one for the dark garments and then I use vinyl so I used I'm sorry so then I use this color gold vinyl and then I used this color as well I love this of vinyl normally I would use the black like I said if it was a white t-shirt can you see that but being that it was a black t-shirt um, I end up using the yellow okay on to the heat press So the way that I sent on my t-shirts, you guys just saw that I first pressed the t-shirt the way it is. Let me lift up my camera. And then I press it that way. Then I go again, I fold the t-shirt so that I can get some kind of, um, of center. And then this line is what I go by to assemble my t-shirt. And of course my battery is dying. So now I'm going to take the name and I fold it directly in half like so. Then I take this part, this folded, and I line it up with the line. Then I just take a quick measurement. So it's almost, I want it to be about two inches down from the hem of the, of the neck. Oops, sorry. Yep, perfect. And I always lay everything out before I start pressing because I want to make sure that it's centered and the layout is correctly the way I want it. Then LOL and then surprise. Perfect. So this is how the layout would look. Now I'm going to start pressing. When you guys detach the iron-on image from the transfer paper, always be careful you don't scratch the image or if not you're going to have to um, print it, print and cut the image all over again because you don't want to scratch on it. Yes, my love. What I try to do is lay out as many pieces as I can on my shirt 
so that I don't have to continuously come back and press, come back and press, and so on. All right, guys, so after you press the doll on the heat press, slowly remove this transfer paper because if you do it too quickly and it's not dry, it will start to lift her up and then you have to do it all over. Trust me, I'm telling you from experience. And make sure that when you're pressing any kind of vinyl around your iron-on um, image that you remove any extra vinyl that you may have. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to think because you don't want the vinyl melting down on your heat transfer image. She's one of my favorite LOLs. She is? Yeah, she's Queen Bee. Queen Bee? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get some Doritos and I'm not finishing this. Alright guys, so this is the end result to the LOL surprise doll birthday shirt that image look at the way it comes out so beautiful and the Cricut maker cuts it out perfect if you like to see other birthday shirts being made please leave it in comments below now I have to package this baby up and mail it out <laughs> thank you so much for watching this quick how to make the LOL Surprise birthday shirt tutorial. Um, I'm trying to get better at doing my step-by-step -step videos. Um, but anyhow, enjoy this beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell for notification. As um, I said in my other video coming September, I'll have more crafting tutorials. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day.